We brought the world tour of innovation to Vancouver to connect, collaborate, and solve. It's Innovation Applied. It's all about solving your toughest analytical challenges here at ASMS. We're in the Thermoscientific Technology Exhibit. I'm with an expert in the field of mass spectrometry, Julian Sabe. Julian, talk about what's new in glycoproteomics and glycomics. First is we've really made this workflow, especially glycoproteomics, very easy. We've taken it from not being able to do, being done by most people to attempted by most people because the workflow is very simplified. So we have upfront sample enrichments, uh, lectin-based enrichments, as well as column-based enrichments to do both peptide as well as protein enrichment. Then we have a very unique acquisition strategy that's available on our Orbitrap-based instruments, especially our Orbitrap Elite. It's called HCD product-dependent ETD. It's called higher energy collisional dissociation, product-dependent electron transfer dissociation. What's happening is that we use the HCD as a way to probe in our sample whether we see glycans or not. So in the HCD spectrum, we see diagnostic glycan oxonium ions, and we use those as a means to trigger ETD on the same precursor. So what this allows us to do is, one, dig deeper into the sample and go after very low abundant species. And it also simplifies our data analysis because all the spectrum that are triggered are only coming from glycopeptides. And the other simplicity of this workflow is that we do have softwares that enable us to automate data analysis. Why is this so important for our customers? And talk about the, the application. The field of glycomics and glycoproteomics, especially glycan modifications, are important for a number of reasons. They're involved in monitoring certain diseases. For example, we can monitor the progression of cancer based on changes in glycosylation patterns. They're involved in biofuels, and biofuels is going to be very huge in the future because that's an area that we're going to be transitioning in terms of producing fuel sources. These are a number of reasons that glycans are important for the field. So there's need for analysis and we've lagged behind a number of years the focus on glycomics and glycoproteomics because we've never had the tools in place. So with the introduction of novel fragmentation techniques such as ETD, it allows us to now go after glycoproteomics, glycans that are present on a peptide. Learn more, visit planetorbitrap.com.